Hello, this video demonstrates the um, materials management exercises for the Global Bike case. Um, I'm going to demonstrate some of the uh, views that you can see within the materials management module. The first thing I'm going to demonstrate is how to display a purchase order. Um, we'll be uh, I'll be display, displaying a purchase order for 60 helmets, uh, off-road helmets, and 150 road helmets from Vendor Olympic Protective Gear, and this purchase order was created by the Purchasing Group North America for the purchasing organization Global Bikes, Inc. So the first thing you want to do is go to the Logistics menu, and you click on the arrow to expand it. Then we want to go to the Materials Management module, and with the Materials Management, we go into Purchasing, and then Purchase Order, and then Display. We click on Display. So we follow that menu path, and once we are here, we uh, click on Other Purchase Order. So you go to the top, and you won't see it where it says Other Purchase Order, but if you hover over these icons, you will see one of them says Other Purchase Order. So we'll click on that, and in the pop-up screen, we are now going to select the radio button Purchase Order, so you can see that is selected. And then we're going to use um, the F4 or click on this icon to search. And in the search, we want to make sure we're in, um, we're going to search for the purchase order and we're going to search by purchasing documents by supplier tab. So you see that is selected. And when we're there, we're going to put in the vendor number for Olympic gear which is 101999. And again, this is outlined in the materials management exercises. So this is given to us. So it is for purchase organization US00. Why is it not letting us enter a purchase group? Oh, sorry, I've got it in the wrong line. So there you go, US00 for purchasing organization. And it's purchasing group N00. And our order type is NB, which is a standard purchase order. So that's what we're looking for. And we'll click on Start Search. And so this is what comes up that meets those requirements. And if we double click it, that comes up. And then we're going to click on Other Document to just select the uh, to display the selected purchase order. So as you will see here, uh, we were looking for a purchase order with Olympic gear for 60 off-road helmets and 150 road helmets, and this is what is coming up. So we see that we can see that they're purchased for $25 each. Um, we can also see that they're in U.S. dollars, and it's from the plant. Now you're to be delivered to the plant in Miami. And what else do we see over here? It's safety gear. You can scroll over. Um, nothing much else to see. But we can see the delivery date, those sorts of things. So that shows you um, that's a demonstration how to display a purchase order that has already been created. So we're going to exit out of that. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to display goods receipt for purchase order. So when we receive goods against a specific purchase order, this is what we can do to see that that has happened. So again, we will go into logistics, so into this menu path for logistics, materials management. This time we're going into inventory management, goods movement, and then we're going to see the GR for purchase order, so goods receipt for purchase order. So we click on that. Double click on that. And at this point, we want to make sure that the operation is displayed, so it is, and display the material document. So if your SAP doesn't show this, you need to change it to display material document. And then we're going to enter in the number 5000000. And that's our receipt number that you would have known from creating this before. And then we will press enter. 
So now the system now displays the goods receipt document and the line items are assigned to the movement type 101. So you can see um, these have been received against this purchase order. So 60 off-road helmets, 150 road helmets. Um, this is, so to see what these columns stand for, you can open them up. So business area, BI00. Scroll over, see what else this says. It's a trading good. So if you remember, a trading good is something they buy and they resell. They don't make it. It's an unrestricted stock. It was received in the Miami plant. And that's how you display a goods receipt against a purchase order. So now we're going to display an invoice overview from the vendor. So to do that, so in this example, the vendor Olympic Productive Gear has sent an invoice with $5,250 for the goods delivered. The invoice was entered into the system manually, and the posting of the invoice occurs within an, in an existing expense account in the general ledger and generates an open item in accounts payable. The invoice is cleared at a later point by issuing a check for Olympic Protective Gear and display the invoice entered in the system is what we are going to do. So to display this invoice, again, we go to Logistics, Materials Management, and we go to Logistics Invoice Verification, Further Processing, Invoice Overview. So we're going to enter in the fiscal year 2016 and for the invoicing party we're going to put 101999 and US00 for the company code and we're going to select invoices verified online for the entry and for the entry type in order to further limit the search and make sure that the processor field is left blank. So I need this processor field left blank. So good. And then we're going to click Execute. So as a next step, we're going to double click on this invoice. And you can now see the selected invoice document in the list of results. Um, and it was previously recorded in the system by the accounts payable specialist, um, as we can see. Um, all the information about this invoice. And uh, so it's for $3,750. The road helmets. Oh, so we can see both for the off-road helmets and the road helmets. And so 1500 for the off-road and 3750 for the road helmets. Okay, so one thing we're going to want to record here is our invoice document number. Um, we'll need that for our next step. So as we can see, it's 51056001. So that is recorded. So we're going to exit out of here. And now we're going to display payment to vendor. So after the invoice document was recorded in the system, it can be paid by the accounts payable specialist. Through this process, the vendor account debited by the invoice receipt is cleared. Since the invoice is paid with a bank check, in this example, the bank check general ledger account is debited. Through the payment transaction, a posting to the vendor account of Olympic Protective Gear and a posting to the bank check account three uh, three hundred thousand were set up in the general ledger. This is done automatically as a one-step process when executing the payment. So now we're going to uh, look at this um, payment to the vendor. So to do that, we go back to our logistics. And we go into materials management, logistics invoice verification. Further processing, display invoice document. So this is where we put the invoice document we recorded in the previous step. So it was 
and we want the fiscal year 2016 entered, and then we want to just uh, click on display document. So display the posting that originated from the clearing of the vendor account through the payment to the vendor by clicking on the follow on documents. So let's click on that. So now you can see values posted to the respective general ledger accounts. And the credit of 5,250 US dollars on the vendor account. So we can see um, the different, this is the vendor account, 10199. And right here, right, is the uh, item delivery item. So since the payment was made by a bank check, the credit of the vendor account led to a bank check account debit of uh, 3000 to the same account. We can display the corresponding document by double-clicking on the first row. So let's double-click on the first row. And so we can see all this information here. So there's the vendor number, there's the general ledger account number. You can see the amounts date they were cleared, and the invoice number. So we will exit out of here back to the easy access screen. Now we're going to display vendor line items. So in this task, we're going to display all the activities and the corresponding balance of the vendor Olympic Protective Gear. And we should see one debit posting and one credit posting representing the invoice receipt and the payment posting to Olympic Protective Gear for balance clearing. So to do this, we need to go into accounting this time. So I'm just going to close everything. So let's go into accounting, financial accounting, accounts payable, account, and then we want to display change line items. So we're going to use the search function. And in the search term, we're going to do 999 in order to find Olympic gear. So we should be able to see Olympic gear in here. So we'll double we'll click on that. And then we want US00 as our company code and select all items. So we click here, select all items, and then click execute. Okay. So we can see all that all the postings for the vendor are balanced. And we can double click on the invoice line. Select call up document overview. So let's see. Okay, this is call up document overview in order to display the line items. There we can see our line items. And then we'll click to go back. Afterwards, double click the vendor payment line, KZ. Okay. And then we can click on call up document overview again in order to display the general ledger items again. So we can see the bank and the vendor. On exit. And uh, so that shows us our vendor line, um, our, vet, our vendor line items. And those are the exercises in the materials management um, for Global Bikes. So hopefully this helps you to get started on the case study for Global Bikes. Thank you.